Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash the like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the reading. And keep coming back, you guys. Um, personal reading link is in the description box below this video. As I have a discount that I'm running until Halloween, so go jump on that if you want to get a personal reading. Everything's like 25 to 33% off. So, yep, you can get a text message reading like almost immediately. Okay. So let's get into this reading and see what messages are showing up here. Okay. So first off, Virgo, you're starting with the Page of Cups. So there might be some type of an apology. Uh, you're definitely going to receive a message in the next 30 days from someone. There's an apology, uh, possibly. It's also like some kind of a sweet, like a sweet text message, like someone saying they miss you, they're thinking of you. Um, it's It's... It's got an element of emotion attached to it, okay? And it feels like a personal message. Um, it doesn't have to be like a... It could be a, a miss you, but there is something here. It's connected to... I want to like, say... <laughs> like, uh, like a... It feels like new love. It does. So for some of you, this could be like a new love message that you're receiving from someone um, makes you feel good it's like a feel good kind of a communication you also have the wheel of fortune so as look Virgo you're very lucky you're gonna be very lucky I feel like things are gonna really begin turning in your favor in the next 30 days here even like money too but the wheel of fortune this is a strong energy of a turning point happening in your life you, there's some type of luck I feel like you're going to to receive let me take a look here and it's on all fronts okay things turning in your favor creatively intellectually physically emotionally it's very good you're getting lucky go scratch those lotto tickets Virgo <laughs> all right so you do have a king of cups who is showing up will be significant in your life in the next 30 days. So this is a Pisces. This is a Scorpio or a Cancer who will be significant. Let's take a look and see. I'll get a clarifying card in regard to them. Oh, geez, you're getting a love offer or a proposal of some sort from uh, a water sign. This water sign comes across as someone who's very supportive, tolerant, empathetic, um, nurturing energy. Okay, so here you go. Prince or Princess Charming coming in. A romantic proposal. All right, Virgo. A lot of different messages happening here. Let me get a clarifier for the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, you've got the devil. <laughs> you lucky devil. <laughs> You're a lucky devil, <laughs> Virgo, in the next 30 days. Seriously, things are things are going to turn around. Things are going to change in regards to some type of either an addiction or obsession or some type of, of lust. A feeling, okay. So if there's a, so wherever you feel kind of like trapped or stuck in your life, um, or like a string of bad luck or a feeling of things being out of your control or like you're stuck in a rut. This wheel serves to show that there will be movement forward and away from that, breaking some kind of a chain from that energy. Okay. And because it's a major arcana, we're going to do, yeah. See, there you go. Um, I love this, this eight of cups. For some of you, this is like walking away or leaving a bad situation. Okay, to go out and I want to say explore your other options. Okay, so this is your wishes coming true. Um, I don't, so I don't feel like this is something, I don't feel like this is something you're doing on your own. Spirit's telling me like it's time. This is what the wheel of fortune is when the, the tables are turning is what I'm hearing. It is time for, sh for change away from some very toxic karmic kind of energy. So 
I feel like this shift with this wheel is just going to start happening. Um, I feel like some of you may have gone to the ends of the earth to try to make changes, to get out of a stuck situation. This feels like spirit. You know the old saying when, when spirit wants to move you, they just move you. It's time. This is what I'm hearing. It's time for a shift and a change and it's coming. In the next 30 days, things are going to improve in your life. Opportunities are going to become available to you where you can actually begin to see the manifestation of your visions and dreams and whatever you have been trying to achieve, it's going to happen. Like, so you're just pretty much getting like a lucky break. You are, it's what they call a lucky break. You know, but it's obviously deeper than that, but it's a shift and a change. Okay, what else is, I love this reading. All right, what else do you need to know? Nope. Okay. Seven of Cups, man, you got, this is like um, so many opportunities coming before you. You're going to have a lot of options and a lot of choices to, to pick from. This is like rubbing the genie lamp. And instead of getting three wishes, you're going to get seven. You might even feel a little bit overwhelmed by the opportunities and options you, or that are going to be placed before you. Yeah, Virgo, it's like it might even get to the point where the abundance comes in and it's like way too much. Do you know what I mean? It's like an over... How do I want to say this? Like an like an overwhelming amount of abundance comes to you after this shift and this change happens. It's almost like having way too much money or having way too many snacks in the, in the fridge. It's like, you know, when you go to the grocery store, it's like, you're just trying to get a, um, you know, some granola bars and you got 8,000 different kinds to choose from. It's overwhelming, you know, I mean, but it's, it's kind of like, okay, well, <laughs> it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, having too much money, right? So no, uh, this could be um, in love. This could be, uh, there's an energy of love, having choices of spiritual growth. Again, with the rainbow here, there's luck. You've got a dragon here. So this is about achievements. You have money. There's uh, wealth. Uh, I feel like these are all, what I want to say is assets for you to acquire, and it's going to be really, really hard to choose. So I don't know if you're going to like, you're going to do some gambling and like hit the jackpot or something. I don't know, Virgo, whether that's symbolic or actually literal. There's this majority of good things coming towards you. Okay. Let's see what else do you need to know, Virgo. My goodness. Okay, there you are. King of Pentacles. Let's see. What do you need to know about yourself here? You could also have a connection with Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But let's focus on you first. Oh, look at this. Success and victory. Virgo. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, man. It looks to me like with the six of wands, you're going to have like this... There's like results after some type of failure or if you were giving up or lacking confidence, everything turns and switches around here for you. There's victory, recognition, good news coming to you, success, victory. I said that. Let's repeat ourselves. Uh, award, diplomas, all of this stuff. There's achievement. <laughs> Let me take a look here. And even in the case of the King of Pentacles, this for some of you has something mostly to do with being resourceful and investments. Okay. So as far as money and things like that go, I feel like money is like such a, I don't know. It's like a big deal. Okay. You win something as well. Let me just get one more no, look. Hmm. Ten of Cups. So some of you are going to have like this total love and support coming towards you from people that you have an emotional attachment to. 
Okay. For some of you, that's also maybe another Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Some of you, this might be like a marriage thing, like an emotional connection. Family, happiness, joy, contentment. Um, someone's going to be, there's, there are people very supportive if you are going to reveal some very personal issues that have an emotional effect on you. Um, or there's an emotional attachment. These are like key developments. And I feel like there's a lot of love and support around something um, that's very personal to you that you may reveal or you may be thinking about revealing or talking about. You got, you got like a group of cheerleaders surrounding you here, Virgo. Okay, what else does Virgo need to know? Oh, look at this. Freedom. My goodness. New journey. A new beginning. Fresh hope. New chances. A new path. New adventure. Let's take a look. Wow. Getting away from conflict. Virgo, I feel like you're going to be able to free yourself in the next 30 days very naturally from some type of conflict um, that might be occurring in your life current, you know, right now. Um, this five of wands, it's like a competition, drama. It's a lot of drama perhaps in your life right now between maybe colleagues in your personal life to do with people or your surroundings, your environment, it's external to you. And I feel like you walk away very easily Maybe whereas before you wanted to prove yourself or you wanted to stay engaged so you can, rec you know, I want to say rectify your name or compete. Virgo, I feel like you're like in this energy here, like I don't give a shit anymore. I'm out. <laughs> I really do. I feel like in the next 30 days, you walk away from either these are other people's problems that are trying to drag you in. Or you're just, you're free, you're out. You're like, you know what, y'all? Going on vacation. Handle it. You're just not dealing. You're out. You're, you're, I feel like you have cities to explore. You have paths to explore. You're, I see you being on your own and getting yourself or removing yourself out of some type of uncertain uncertainty in a situation, whether that's with a bunch of people or just with one. You go off uh, kind of on your own here like a loner but an explorer. It feels like explorer vibes. Yeah. Off some obstacles that you might be currently dealing with right now or some rivalries or challenges. You know, I, I feel like your, your energy here is, you know, you know, it, it feels like instead of getting in the ring, to win, it, it feels like your energy is like, you know what? Um, the best way to win is to not play the game. You skip out. <laughs> I don't know how this relates to anything going on in your life, but it feels to me like you are, you're free. I see freedom coming for you. Okay. Lovely. You've got the magician. All right. Let's take a look. This is manifestation. Turning your visions into reality, Virgo. Okay. Look at that. I feel for some of you, I just got this really quick flash message. Um, some of you may have been dealing with a lack of engagement or involvement. Um, a f there's a feeling of un like feeling unfulfilled in your life. Maybe apathy or indifference, or maybe there was a little depression, or just Virgo. That goes away. I see if you're dealing with something like that, or um, having decisions and you can't figure out what you want to do. You come to make a decision. You get some type of inspiration. Uh, there's a feeling of inspiration that just suddenly envelops you. 
So, you know, the four of cups is kind of like a very flat effect. You know, it's like nothing stimulates you, nothing makes you happy. I don't know if you're feeling that way right now, but perhaps some things that used to make you happy just really don't do it for you anymore. Your taste uh, has been suppressed. Um, some feelings have been suppressed. That shifts. You get a sense of inspiration. Something comes to you and pulls you out of this energy, this this indifference or this apathy. Feels like there's a lot, you know, a lot of major arcana. So there's a lot of um, planned, destined things. Whenever we have uh, a lot of major arcana, it's really just to tell you that these things are going to happen on their own. Like I said in the beginning, when spirit wants to make something happen, the universe controls everything, you know, so the, so the universe is in, in charge here. And it's, I'm just feeling like it's time. Even the wheel of fortune is a timing thing. All right. Now you have the two of wands, Virgo. So now you've got a choice and, and we did feel like you had a lot of choices, but I feel like you narrow something down to two choices, two paths. And now it's only a matter of which direction you're going to go. So I feel like you, I feel like you have agency. Yep. It's about the direction you want to go. And you make a decision. Some of you are heading towards an emperor, an Aries or cancer. Um, but this is about taking the lead. And I feel like right now you might be standing at a crossroad. You could go with this or you could go with that. You could do with this or you could do that. So it's like, I'm just being silly. So it's like making your decision and then going forth in your power. This is what this is about. Taking the lead in your life, right? I feel like, which way do you go? For some of you, this is about becoming a, a parent, maybe, or a father. Okay. You go the path that offers the best opportunity. I feel like that's where your decision comes in. Where are you going to receive the biggest and best opportunity, whether this is to do with a new job, a raise, a promotion, investment, new income, or anything to do with an emotional new beginning or a project or some new ideas. I feel like you're, the path you're going to take is, well, if I go this way, you're going to compare the opportunities <laughs> is what I'm seeing. And I feel like it's kind of like, show me the money, you know, you're going to go where the money is. This is what I feel where the gifts are. You know, like it's like Christmas morning. The first thing the kids do is they run to the tree. They don't run out the front door. <laughs> go where the gifts are, Virgo. Go where all the abundance is. That's your decision. And you take a look at that in these next 30 days. I only want to be where the tree is. I want to be where the Christmas tree and all the gifts are. I just want all the goodies. Go where the goodies are. This is what I feel like you decide. Okay. What else do you have? This reading's crazy. All right. You've got the Knight of Swords here, Virgo. So you're making some kind of a lifestyle change for sure in the next 30 days. This is amazing. Um, all right. You're taking up the... King of Swords, there is also an air sign who's going to be significant in your life as far as a, um, some type of decision. They might be pushing you to go in a particular direction or they're making a lifestyle change in relation to you. Okay, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now, I'm not seeing anything here about love. With this person, it doesn't mean that um, it can't be, but this feels more like making some very logical decision. And there's also travel, uh, King of Swords, connecting with you or visiting. Okay, so they are giving you the Knight of Wands. So there is a very physical thing with this person as well. Two Knights could be... Uh, it's yeah, well, it's connected to lust and the free spirit. Uh, you might just, and it doesn't mean that some, I'm not saying someone's going to connect with you because I want to just, 
hit it and run. I feel it's more like this person's full of a lot of passion. And I do feel like there's an encouragement aspect to this king of swords, um, that they encourage you. Um, but they also feel encouraged to make a huge change as well. And now you have the three of wands. Oh, look at this. This is like, wow, what's out there? What's on the horizon? Looking at all the possibilities and your ships start coming in Virgo in the next 30 days as well. One, two, three, however many. Things that you've put out there in the past, you can start seeing results. Those, those uh, results are going to start coming in the next 30 days. They're going to be pretty major. Let's see. I want I, anything else about that. Okay. Yeah. For some of you, it's been a long time waiting. It's finally arriving. For some of you, it's been a long time coming, and it is finally arriving. The Knight of Pentacles. This is great. <sighs> can relate to anything, Virgo. For some of you, you put in a lot of hard work, and you've been patient, waiting for some type of return, maybe on an investment. And your hard work, you're going to start seeing the returns. And then after that comes in, then it's just going to be nonstop returns, nonstop, one right after the other. Uh, I feel like the message here is to stay the course and keep being patient. Um, you'll start seeing more and more come in pretty darn quick. Uh, results is what I mean. You also have with this eight of wands, some Cupid's arrows and communication, some good news. Let's take a look here. Quick change, speed, action. Ooh. Okay. Secret news. There's secret news coming in. Somebody confesses. Oh my gosh, too. That they have a thing for you. Could be a Pisces, could be an Aquarius. Um, so they're also just saying. You have a fast track in your healing. All the hard work, I kind of feel like all that's related. All the hard work that you've been putting in, all of a sudden, I don't know how to explain it, but you start noticing some subtle signs of results coming in. And then after that, they start coming in more and more. A lot of this has to do with a healing energy, with the star. A lot of this is connected to a sense of having renewal, in yourself, hope, inner clarity, um, miracles start coming towards you. Your faith increases greatly. I mean, bro, I don't know what the heck. Like this shift, I don't know how profound it is for some of you, but this shift that's happening, there must be something going on like planetarily. I have no idea, but whatever this is, these are profound changes in your life. Wee! You might, it might even, some of this might even put you in the spotlight in some way. Wow, you got the high priest. All of your expectations coming forward, gaining a little bit of clarity. Uh, this kind of feels like you get confirmation. Let me see here. You do, so we were talking about secrets. There might be a Taurus who has a secret uh, thing for you that they may, might begin to reveal. It comes kind of slowly, starts coming out in the next 30 days. It might even be something to do with commitment for some of you or marriage. But with this moon energy, things that were hidden and things that you expected or that you just believed were hidden, uh, there was secrecy surrounding that. These are, they're going to start coming to light. Trust, they're saying your intuition about the things you confirm to be true deep within you because you're on point and you're right. You're on point and you're right about these things. And you might not be trusting yourself. For some of you, it's, has something to do with is someone you're connected to already in a committed relationship, but you don't know for sure, you know, and it will be revealed to you whether they are or not. I'm, 
they might not be. I'm not saying somebody is or there isn't, but I feel like the, the biggest message here with this is what your entire body is telling you, what you're suspecting, what your intuition, you know, when you have that feeling like of something being off, but you can't quite put your finger on the pulse of that. Well, that's a message that yes, yeah, something is. And when it eventually will be revealed to you, but I feel like you really do believe, but you, you know, you're not trusting your intuition in regards to this. And I'm telling you that you can. I'm telling you that you're right, that whatever you're feeling, you're right about. Okay. So there is a message of communication. Somebody wanting to compromise, forgive, or work something out. Okay. And date night. So there is someone who wants, I feel like work something out, have some forgiveness, go on a date, or start dating. Okay. Let's see. Maybe something... Something obviously must have happened, or lack of communication. Okay, some of you are like moving on, uh, coming to terms that someone is unavailable, waste of time, and this is over. And I feel like it has to do with someone who you suspect is a liar or is sneaky. Um, I don't feel like these are both the same messages. These could be two different people here. Let's see. Um, now, if this might not be someone that you had a falling out with, where there's like forgiveness, compromise. This could uh, the forgiveness part. This could also be for some of you that um, you're just you get asked out, perhaps, or you go out, or you know, or someone mentions about, or you ask somebody out. And this is all about working out the details. Where are we going to meet? Where do you want to go? That kind of stuff. So, so that I don't know why that's important, but I feel like. You're, it's more of like a prediction. I, it feels like somebody's going to come in with this energy. And it's possible it's an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So it can go either way, Virgo. Okay. You also have give something time. Everything in divine timing, so let things flow. But right now, it's not the right time. That's what I'm hearing. All right, Virgo. Some of you are getting a love call as well. If someone expresses love, sends a message of love, saying they're thinking of you, and they want to inform you. <laughs> they want to tell you. All right? So, um, yeah, and we saw that, I felt like, in the very beginning. So, yeah, I expect to receive a love call from someone. Let's see. Anything else about that for Virgo? Hmm. This person's heartbroken, deeply hurt and sad, feeling lost, grieving and despair after some kind of a breakup. Okay. Yeah, so whoever's heartbroken in your life could be a snake. <laughs> oh my gosh. They could be born in the year of the snake. Let me just say that. Hmm. Let me see what else. Oh, for some of you, this is not a snake in, in the sense of like someone from your past that you're romantically engaged with. Um, this could be a friend who uh, reaches out to you. They're really lost. They're grieving. Um, they're, them and their partner have split. Um, there might have been a third party. So you may be on the receiving end um, of somebody's pain and struggle, um, coming in as a friend or just a, someone to listen. Yeah, that actually feels like it's resonating more, but for, for others, uh, there is an, an energy. This could be a past person who's really someone that they were with has ended, something's ended and they're coming in, um, to tell you that they love you okay i don't know i don't know I, I, i'm just gonna leave that there all right you also have well it feels like this person reminisces has is learned from the past i feel they have a camera looking at photos their perception okay wow virgo somebody's definitely reminiscing Ooh. 
this person tells you that they love you. Um, they might even be telling you that they made a mistake with a third party. Okay. Let me see. Anything else? Let me see. All right. All right. Yeah, this person was wearing a mask. Hiding their true feelings, pretending, gaslighting. This person wore a mask. Now, are there is their mask coming off? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they're doing here, but I can definitely tell you, whoever it is, you're going to resonate with this whole mask energy, okay? Um, so th these are all the messages as far as things that I feel like are coming forward for you. What you want to do with that, you know, like, how we see for going I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you know, you do what you need to do. Let's take a look at the Chinese signs and see. Uh, we're going to look at you. So, year of the rooster. Year of the snake again. Strong snake vibes. Year of the dragon. Year of the rabbit. You have a horse. Tiger. The dog. And the rat, okay? So if your Chinese sign is not called out, doesn't mean it's not your reading. I'm just letting you know. All right, any other messages for Virgo? Other messages for Virgo. Okay, you got the world. The world at your feet, Virgo. I mean, overall, these are great messages. A brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment, and spiritual enlightenment. Freedom to do whatever the F you want, Virgo. Be proud of yourself. I'm telling you, new chapters happening in the next 30 days. And it's it's a colossal shift. It's like the floodgates open. Do you know what I mean? If somebody like spirit comes down and unlocks that gate for you. And that these doors just open for you with the world. Okay, all the unfinished business, unfinished lessons, they're all solved. Everything's finished. No no delays anymore. No problems. Um there's what used to feel like uh, being stuck, that stuck energy or permanence, like a sense of like it's always going to be this way. No, that's that's changing. There's completion here and a new beginning. All right, you've got the Eight of Swords. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The illusion of of entrapment. Free your mind, and the rest will follow. A lack of self-confidence that made you feel helpless, being afraid to take action, and now you're taking responsibility for your life. This is beautiful. Some of you were born September 8th, or uh, you're, you're an August. Um, oh my gosh, he's so loud. Uh, we have Joseph, Josephine, Jose, Jojo, Joey. We have a C. And then you get the Knight of Wands. Here you go. Your passion, your confidence, uh, a sense of feeling restless, events in your life requiring immediate action, trusting your instincts, staying focused, and also a passionate relationship, either with yourself or somebody else. Yeah, no. King of Pentacles showing up here a lot. So for some of you, it's all about you. Again, with the compassionate energy that you have, you're accomplished, you're charismatic, you're grounded, you're, you experience a great time of success, financial security, and prosperity. You have the Midas touch, Virgo. Everything turns out beautifully. Everything goes the way it's meant to go, and it works out in your favor. You're a supportive parent, and you're a great spouse, Virgo. You are a good person to work for. Anything else? I love these messages today. They're fantastic. Okay, you got the page of wands. There's news of exciting opportunities coming to you, Virgo. Allow your creativity to soar. Do things that fuel your passions and finish what you start. And you'll be able to because you're going to be able to start. <laughs> So they're like, no, nah, I can't finish it. I never get to start. Yeah, no. The energy's shifting. You're going to get the opportunity to start. All right, Virgo. So we have Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces. Double Sag. All right, someone's initial starts with an I. Or, yeah, like an I. August 23rd. Someone's 41. Someone's 42. 
1987, someone's 56, 1985, 31, 78, 55. Oh, M-A-O, Mao? Mao. Is that like a Chinese thing? Okay. Camo. What's going on? Oh, I, ooh. Okay. China. Camo. Military. That's what I'm picking up. Fatigues. China. Okay. September 10th. That's significant, that message. All right. June, very significant month, specifically June 10th, but someone's, like I said, born July 10th. I'm sorry, September 10th. The 16th, September 16th, August 29th, we have 66, uh, 46, 69, and doing fine. September 9th, 9th 34, September 2nd, okay. I'm hearing bath. Maybe somebody's taking a bath right now. Okay. Somebody's doing something with Bitcoin. We also have January. January is going to be very significant in your life, Virgo, 2025. Okay. Realtor. 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 Gator. Gators. Talia. Bella, Gabe, Tate, 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 girl, somebody's having a girl, a baby girl, someone's a tattoo, tattoo, Tallahassee, uh, gastrointestinal or general hospital or GI, GI. Uh, someone's wearing a girdle, TLA. I don't know what that stands for, but I'm hearing, t I'm, they're telling me TLA. Actually, that used to be a place in Philly. It was like a club, the TLA. I forget what it meant, though. Oh, Theater of Living Arts. Okay, there's some type of connection to theater. Um, I'm hearing Beth. Uh, Lara or Laredo. Okay. Garth. Blart. <laughs> okay. Let's get some, get some charms. I don't know. Maybe you'll, oh, girth. Holla at the girth. Somebody get some girth. All right. Let's get your charms here. So you have you have a rocking horse. All right, Virgo. You have a rocking horse. There's some significance to a rocking horse. It's connected to you. Or you will see this rocking horse to remind you of these messages here or you just saw maybe you just saw one and there's a connection remember I said somebody's having a baby girl so there's a connection to that okay oh there's two there's two rocking horses oh I'm hearing surprise there's also a, a little boy it's twins somebody has an ultrasound it's like whoa we only were expecting one, but guess what? Yeah, and here's, you know, I know it's a flamingo, but it's giving me stork vibes. Okay. <laughs> now, I know it's not necessarily you. It could be somebody else or someone you're connected to. Okay. You got a dinosaur, Virgo. We're dealing with a brontosaurus here. Maybe there's like brontosaurus burgers somewhere, but there's a connection to dinosaurs. Specifically. Not a T-Rex. This is a Brontosaurus. Uh, some of you are vegan. Is it vegan? Yeah. You're plant-based. Maybe you're going to eat plant-based meat. Yeah, here's your leaves, your branch. So I'm picking up some plant-based energy, something along those lines. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pumpkin season. 
pumpkin spice coffee latte. What's up, Virgo? Are you drinking that right now? Um, pumpkin picking, Halloween energy. Um, pumpkin pick, picking, a Halloween party, a hayride. I'm seeing a lot of this energy playing out. Thanksgiving vibes. Maybe you're planning some planning something to do with the fall, with the harvest, with pumpkins, all that surrounding that. Doing there, there's definitely. I mean, I know a lot of people are, but you specifically, Virgo, are connected to this for some reason. Like you're doing something. All right, Virgo. So. I'm going to end your reading here. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to be done, <laughs> but thanks everybody. Don't forget to go check out your VIP reading. If you're a member of my channel, VIP only go check that out. Um, that is already uploaded and tomorrow I will be back with your weekend reading. And also don't forget, take advantage of the discounted personal readings that are on my website, moonpytaro.com. The link is below this video. I don't do video calls. They're audio, okay? Phone calls. There's also a text message reading where you can just ask five questions and I will text you back. Like I have someone who had a reading scheduled for Thursday, a text message reading, and I sent it to her on Wednesday. So, cause I was able to do it. So as soon as I can get it to you, I will. Okay. Especially if you have like pressing answers and those text they're like five bucks a question. So definitely take advantage of those. All right, you guys, thanks everybody in the chat. Any new members, welcome to my channel. I greatly appreciate. Welcome to those of you who subscribe the mods, major shout out for you guys. I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. Lord knows that I've tried to you said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us